Hello everyone, this is Johnny. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to deploy Palo Alto VM Studio's firewall into your Azure environment. First, I wanna show you the topology. Azure firewall I'm gonna deploy in is a VM Studio's firewall from Palo Alto. There's three interface manager interface which is go to internet and also I have other two interfaces one is untrusted one is trusted trusted is internal interface basically we are gonna deploy this firewall to protect it our trusted network there's a couple of steps we're gonna follow Definitely you need a Azure account and you need a valid subscription, free trial subscription, also the student sub subscription won't work. So pay as you go is the one you're gonna go to. There's a couple steps after that, launch the VM from Marketplace, activate license, configure those interfaces, define virtual router and uh, static routes an IT lure for internet traffic then create a security policy lure for your traffic the optional one is create a public IP for your own trusted interface now let's go to your Azure environment we can start it from marketplace by search marketplace you should be able to get uh, the list of all images you can go to security category or you can search Palo Alto both will give you VM series next generation firewall from Palo Alto this option there's a three plans BYOL and Enterprise License Agreement uh, Bundle 1 Pay As You Go That's the one I'm gonna give it a try I don't have a resource group created yet so we're gonna create a new one I'm gonna call it Palo Alto Networking So we're gonna create in a new subnet We can keep it default um, we're gonna have DNS name, I'm gonna call it the NetSec Firewall Keep the virtual machine size, if you downgrade size to smaller one um, They may have issue with um, interfaces So we're gonna create this VM Validation, passed it It's gonna take a um, couple of minutes, five minutes, around five minutes to get everything set up. I'm gonna pause the video recording and come back once it's ready. As you can see, the deployment is completed. Let's go to resource group. Let's take a look at that stack firewall. So we got the public IP here. We also have a DNS name. What we can do, we can use DNS name to visit. Connection is ready. There's a HTTPS warning, self sign certificate. We can log in as our username, password. We created during creating this VM. So now we are creating the administrative session. One thing we need to do, we need to register this new device. So we are at the customer support portal. You register account, then go to asset, device, register new device. And then you will get two options, device type. So we're gonna select second one Register usage based VM series model. 
and you need to choose your cloud name marketplace we are using Microsoft Azure next so now we need to type our serial number CPU ID those kind of information which we can get from so we are at the pen OS 10.1 don't show this again I don't want to see it my minute later so we need a serial number which you can find from here We need to see we need to use device name device tag so we're gonna agree and submit it so congratulations your device has been successful registered there's some um, best practice recommendations you can take a look at we also can run day one configuration let's give it a try to see what this look like day one so basically day one is just asking your uh, management IP where you're gonna log in and they can generate in a configuration file for you We don't have to use that at all. We can leave it there. So here is a serial number, device tag, OS release. One thing I found interesting is there's no OS 10. So OS release is just 9.2, so very interesting. We can leave it there. So we have VM 300 AMI support subscription bundle we have thread protection we have premium support as well both all of them are perpetual we also got the also code so let's for device activation following our installation steps we finished the first two steps already we're gonna configure in trusted untrusted interface and define virtual routers and static route and net lure it's uh, starting to work on them right now we have management ip interface 10.0.0.4 you can also look at the, our diagram so we're gonna assign is that the one untrusted interface 10.0.1.4 and also Ethernet 2. We also need to create um, virtual routers and static route. If you look at device setup, you will see our management interface. It shows here. It's a loud pin HTTPS SSH. That's our management interface and it's enabled. So the management interface actually is Ethernet 1 slash 0. We have seven other interfaces available, so which we can assign IP, assign different zone for them, if you have multiple networks. We're gonna work on first one. We need to change the interface type from HA to layer 3. HA is for high availability connections between those two high availability members. It's not one slash one. We're gonna assign it as um, our untrusted zone, untrusted virtual router. So we're gonna create a new virtual router since we have nothing there. Just put a name. We're gonna do other configuration a little bit later. Create a zone. We we'll also need to assign IP. We don't need to use static IP. You can use it if you have multiple IP address. Actually, we usually do DHCP client since it will automatically acquire that 10.0.1.4 IP from Azure. We need to in disable automatically create default route. This one we don't need it. So link status will be auto 
or alas will be default we don't need to touch it enable this one say okay same thing we work on three let's say it, LAN network to config we cannot create a new VR for it we're gonna say trust it we are also do trust it so IPv4 also we can use DHCP client to get the IP okay commit less than one minute the commit should be finished the star the status is successful we can take a look at IP address we got 10.0.1.4 this will be 10.0.2.4 so 10.0.1.4, 10.0.2.4. Next step, we're gonna work on the virtual routers. We created the virtual router, but we didn't do any configuration. More specifically, we need to add it static route here. This is on trusted VR, so we're gonna have one internet lure. We call it internet because the lateral traffic, lateral route to go to the internet. And uh, it's gonna use interface is not one slash one. And the next hop will be our 10.0.1.1, which is our default gateway for that network. We also need to create our internal route. Let's call it LAN route. So destination will be 10.0.2.0/24. Any traffic go to 10.0.2.0/24. It will go to next VR, next virtual router, which is our trusted VR. route one default route one more specific for internal route same thing we need to create the two route mine's for internet We also need to create uh, a two VNet route. If we would like to go to 10.0.1.0 slash 24, it will be going to interface in Ethernet 1 slash 2, and the gateway will be 10.0. Two, two, one. Okay, so we create the route, we create the VRs, and now we can commit to them. Now the route and the interface are ready. We're gonna work on policy. Yes, the NAT policy and the security policy. Let's work on the NAT policy first. We're gonna add a new policy. Let's say this is to internet. I did not kind interface of on trusted for internet traffic. So when we send the traffic to internet, all traffic will be netted on the untrusted interface IP to go to internet. So original packet, let's do trusted zone. 
Destination will be on trust. Destination interface will be set one to one. Any any. Translated packet we gonna translate it to dynamic IP and port. Translated address will be one interface address. So it's gonna be Ethernet one one. IP address will be none. We gonna translate it behind this interface Ethernet one one. Now we do commit again. NAT policy is ready. Now we work on security policy. Two building default security policy are here. One is for inter zone, which is allow. For inter zone is deny. So we're gonna create an internet policy. That will allow it to go to the internet. Source, we're gonna allow our trusted zone to go to internet, not anything else. Any, that's good. So we go to destination. Destination will be any, and application will be any as well. Service URL category, I will put any as well. Action will be allow. Let's log at the session start and end. Basically, this is internet. Allow trusted zone go to anywhere. Commit. After all those steps from 1 to 6, you should have a full functional Palo Alto Firewall to protect your internal trusted LAN network. The step 7 is optional, so when you need to allow inbound traffic to access your server, for example, DMZ zone, you create a new DMZ zone, you want to publish your service to internet, then you may need this new public IP for your service. So that's the optional. But at this moment, we have got a full functional Palo Alto firewall in our Azure environment. Thank you for watching. If you think this video is having some useful information, please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.